Hi, I'm Trinity Johnson, and I'm an eighth grader from Westside Middle School. <laughs> Thanks. And this is my poem, Uncle Mike. Showers used to be my happy place until I realized a clear plastic curtain cannot separate me from the memory of you and your suicide. I turn the shower on. Water ripples through my hair, shampoo scrapes my dandruff flakes. Like when I fell and cut my knee, you told me I was not a baby, conditioner's clear. Like it's clear you covered up the pain because the person I knew would stay up and have pillow fights until 3 a.m. Body wash gets under my fingernails, scraping out the rock chunks from our adventures in your backyard, and I'm convinced that it's water in the tub, but they're tears. The bath is filling up because there's something in the drain, a three-year-old looking at her uncle for the first time and saying, Grandpa? The water gets so high that the overfill line stops working, I slip. The room fills with the memories I hid away, the cursing game where I thought stupid was a bad word, when you would hide in your room like a teenager when you were 50, how the last thing you would say to me was, te amo o la hago, I love you, or do I? And no one said anything, the water's gone. It turned to New Mexico dust, your footprints lasting 30 seconds, making it too late for my auntie to find you, the shower head becomes a shape, of the red braided diamond noose, the tub becomes a tree you've had to test before. We were struggling to breathe, but mine was drowning and yours was hanging. I saw you every year, but January 2nd, 2017. New year, no you. 16 hours, 16 hours we drove in the middle of winter. Every heavy metal song that played, we skipped. Like you skipped your last heartbeat. The definition of cold is something at a low or relatively low temperature, especially compared to the human body. But the water around me feels like a corpse that is far from resurrection. I should get out, but there's something keeping me in. Maybe there's still some dandruff. Maybe the conditioner is not clear enough. Maybe there are still some rock chunks. But I do know running water does not allow me to light candles in the shower. But the candle with your name on it defies the law of nature. And when I see it, I scream at the top of my lungs that I don't care why you did it and I don't want to know. And that we'll always have the unfinished arguments of whether Fall Out Boy is better than ACDC, whether I'm more white or Spanish, and whether I was going to get that million dollars because of that stupid cursing game, you never wrote a will. Because you didn't have the will to write one. Let me write one for you. Let me settle your loose ends. Let me help you. Uncle Mike, I don't know if you're proud of me. I don't know why the only time I think of you is in the shower and why showers were ever my happy place to begin with, but when I'm able to drain the water, I hope the bad memories go with it. And when I'm out of the shower, you're not really gone. <laughs>